Hey, this is Bill from The Upside of Downsizing. What you're looking at is uh, a backhoe and it's coming in to dig 12 foot deep holes. He's doing what's called the soil evaluation for our septic installation. So this contractor has worked in our area before and he's familiar with the quality of the soil and the land here. But in order to uh, fulfill his requirements with the county, he has to do what's called the soil evaluation. He's gonna be digging four holes. Each hole is gonna be 12 feet deep. And this will allow him to set up a site plan to get the permits for both the septic installation as well as our building permit. Boy, I'd love to have one of these machines. Doesn't have to be this big, but boy, I'd love to have one. So this is also interesting for us because what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow us to see what the quality of the dirt is a little deeper to see what the, cl the clay uh, sand ratio, clay sand silt, I should say, ratio is. You know, because what's up on top here is real sandy but I've had a chance to dig to trench down 24 inches and even at 24 inches, it becomes much more clay rich. So uh, yeah, this is gonna, like I say, this is one of four. And uh, when we get done with the soil evaluation, I'll get back with you. So we're just short of 12 feet right now. And uh, that should suffice. I certainly wouldn't wanna fall in this hole. So the good news is we are not totally clay rich, but we do have a substantial amount of clay, enough for our uh, straw bale construction. And you can see by the walls here how they really are holding their shape nicely. And also the contractor mentioned that we didn't have a whole lot of rock, which is good because we're going to be building our house up on a pedestal, or I should say a... Um, a deck and so there's gonna be quite a few post holes to dig so the one thing I didn't want to have to do is deal with a bunch of bunch of rock so hopefully uh, this is all good news for us right now so it's the next day and our contractor left last night about uh, 545 it was getting dark and he finished the four um, holes that he had to dig each one 12 foot deep and I'm out here today just taking a look at it to see what uh, you know what's what he did and what's left so he did say he filled in all the holes and I guess if you look over my shoulder you can see back there uh, the remnants of one hole and I'm looking for the fourth one and quite frankly I can't find it but um, okay you know he's the contractor who's got to work with the county and he's been doing it a long time and I doubt that he would want to put his uh, his uh, standing good standing in in jeopardy with the county so anyways it was funny i i made sure that he avoided barrel cactus and yuccas uh at the wrath of my wife should he destroy such a thing so anyways you can see by the tracks he was carefully doing a uh, serpentine now he did take care of a prickly pear down here and quite frankly that's fine with me we got those everywhere anyways i was just going to take a look around and see what uh see what the land looks like after he got done you know it's funny a big machine like that comes in and it really uh, it really can tear apart the, the the land so but it's you do what you got to do that was the first hole that was the hole that we uh looked at yesterday and uh then the other two are back in this back in this direction here and quite frankly i only see two but fine Three are, if three were sufficient, that's good enough for me. Anyways, this is Bill from the Upside of Downsizing. Oh, you know, there's one more thing I wanted to make a comment about. After he got done last night, he stopped by, we talked for a few minutes, and he told me why he had to go down 12 feet, because uh, what he mentioned was that the septic system he's going to put in is actually going to only be between three and four feet deep. Uh, and... He, so, I, so I asked him, why do you have to go 12 feet then? He said the county wants to know what's below the septic system so that the leach field has ample room to 
you know, drain, I, sp I suppose is the best way to put it. And they want to know that there's no wa uh, rock or no uh, uh, standing water underneath the area where the leach field is going to be uh, installed, which is going to be practically, I guess, this area right here behind us. So uh, actually it'll be a little bit further down this way because right here where you're looking at over the shoulder, that's this is the plan for the, uh, for the building site. Anyway, so that's the reason they go down 12 feet. Next step is to get all the permits and everything done through the county, and then we can get rolling on it. So anyways, this is Bill from the Upside of Downsizing. I want to thank you for watching the video. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to, please uh, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.